Gate 2017 set to electrical question number 32. A cascade system having the impulse response H1 n 1 comma minus 1 and H2 n 1 comma 1 is shown in the figure below. This arrow denotes the time of the origin and then the input sequence xn for which the cascade system produces an output sequence yn equal to 1 to 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 is the arrow at this one is the input xn is being asked for which yn will be like this so for NPTEL reference you can refer to lecture number 5 LTI system step and impulse responses convolution of the NPTEL code digital signal processing by professor S. C. Dastarai in the department of electrical engineering IIT Delhi coming to the useful data when you take a con cascaded system with H1n and H2n as the impulse responses for these systems then the overall cascaded system impulse response h of n is h1n convolution h2n and the output y1n is the convolution between input x1n and the overall impulse response hn now to find out the convolution between two discrete time domain signals we write like this in the tabular form this is the tabular form for estimating such convolution results in discrete time x1n is written like this after that hn is written as this and x1n values are written here and hn values are written here and then we perform the simple product h1n in h1 into x1 h2 into x2 h1 into h x3 and like this h2 into x1 h2 into x2 h2 into x3 and so on then h3 into x1 h3 into x2 h3 into x3 and so on we are doing and after that we are drawing diagonals like this and along the diagonals we sum them up and write them in the brackets so after obtaining the result this result will give us the value of x1 n convolution h n and the number of terms will be m plus n minus 1 where m is the number of terms of x1 n n is the number of terms of h of n and then minus 1 so coming to the solution we have h1 of n equal to 1 comma minus 1 h2 of n equal to 1 comma 1 and after that we do the convolution to find out hn because hn is convolution of h1 n and h2 n so we are taking the convolution this is 1 this is minus 1 and this is 1 1 so 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and we have this is 2 this is 2 so 2 plus 2 minus 1 equal to 3 values 3 terms the first term is 1 the second term is 0 and the third term is minus 1 now to find out the position of the arrow for this h of n you see where this arrow in h1 n was so it was at this one so mark it one and for h2n this was also at one that is the first element of h2n so you draw lines like this and the term at which the intersection happens is the zero term so this first term is the zero term so this is the arrow position so hn is obtained now by the tabular method of convolution and involuted with xn which is unknown to obtain yn which is given in the question as equal to 1 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and the arrow being at 1 now i have yn as 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 terms which is m plus n minus 1 now i also know that hn has three terms so yn has six terms so if this has m terms then m plus n this is minus one is six so m must be four so the xn can be assumed like a1 a2 a3 a4 now xn convolution hn 
Now each n has three terms. One zero minus one, one zero minus one, and the x n has a one, a two, a three, and a four. So a one, a two, a three, a four first. Then zero 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 zero, and then minus a one minus a two minus a three minus a four. So the result becomes a one. Then we have zero plus a two, which is a two. After that we have a three minus a one. After that we have a four minus a two. After that we have minus a three and minus a four. So you see it has six terms y n, which is the convolution of x of n and h of n. This has six terms: one, two, three, four, five, six. So a one is equal to one. A two is comparing just y n. Compare y n just with this with this. So you see a one is one from first term. A two is two. A three minus a one. Is one, so a three value is one plus a one, which is two. So this, then a four is last term compare is one. So we know all the values a one as one, a two as two, a three as two, and as one. Now a j n is like this, one zero minus one. x n is like this 1 2 2 1 but x n is not completely known yet because h n is having the zero position at here y n at here that means this line was the zero position now that means this should be the zero position of x n because h n zero position was at this and the intersection should always be at 1 That is the first element. This must be the first element of X n. I hope you understand this concept of intersection and finding the zero position. So one is the zero position is at one of X n. So X n is writing it one two two one with the zero position at here. So this is the final answer. So X n is one two two one, and option D is correct. Thank you.